Howdy y'all, welcome to Cooker Gehooft. Today I want to show you something I think is pretty cool. This is in Colt's pen, and yes, we do need to take care of that ant bed. It has uh, gotten pretty big. It actually started as a long trail of ant beds, kind of in a line right here. But it looks like they've decided that's the spot where they want to be. But the reason I wanted to show this is not because it's a big ant bed but look at the plants that are coming out right next to this bed so you would think that perhaps on the onset that these particular plants are just growing because that's where the seed fell it's actually sweet gum tree it's right here under the sweet gum so the sweet gum balls fell and they planted themselves in the ground with the rain and the pup mr colt uh, you know, walking over them and covering them with dirt and yada yada. But if you notice, there are no sweet gum trees coming out anywhere else around this tree. It is only right there in that spot that these sweet gums are coming up. So, why would that be? Well, we go back to the ant bed. My theory is that the ant bed has provided the optimum growth conditions for these hack, uh, not hackberry, sorry, sweet gum trees to germinate and start growing. Okay, so let's review that really quick. What kind of conditions would an ant bed provide for plants to allow the plants to grow and be happy there? All right, well, let's look at it. When ants make ant beds, they make tunnels. So, for one thing, they aerate the soil. Because they're digging those tunnels and they're fluffing up that dirt, the dirt is no longer compacted there. And that's also why you get these huge piles of dirt on top of the ground level whenever you find an ant bed. So that's number one. They've provided aeration, loosened the soil, allowed oxygen to be in the soil so it's not compacted and so the roots can grow easily for the sweet gums. Number two is whenever the ants make their tunnels, they kind of crystallize the edge of the tunnels. I believe it's with their saliva. So when that happens, they essentially create capillaries or tubes throughout the dirt. And ants go down really far whenever they create their bed. So they are able to reach water sources that's farther down under the soil, like lower down in the substrate. And because of those capillaries that have been created with essentially solid walls, it creates capillary action, bringing the water from lower underground up to the surface. Now, not all the way to the surface, but to the higher levels, you know, so maybe about an inch or two below ground, as opposed to it being probably a couple of feet down. If you've never seen it, check out the YouTube videos that are on, um, essentially they take, well, they create artwork using ant beds. They take molten or liquid aluminum and pour it into an ant bed, let it cool, and then they dig it out, and the aluminum hardens into the shape that it has followed the ant bed tunnels. So essentially, you get an idea of what an ant bed looks like underneath the ground whenever they pull up the aluminum sculpture at that point. Well, if you look at those, they get really deep. We're talking two, three, feet deep easily sometimes it might even get deeper so that's a lot of water that's being brought up to the 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 level of the ground where the sweet gum roots are at so in review the ant bed allows more oxygen because it fluffs the soil and it aerates it providing easier access to the oxygen for the roots and an easier substrate for the roots to go through so i guess that's kind of like two points and then also it brings up the water through capillary action 
making the water more readily available to the roots of the sweet gum. So, I just thought that was really cool, um, and I wanted to share it. We will probably not leave the sweet gums. If we do, maybe one, but honestly, they're so close to this other sweet gum tree, they would probably just compete with each other. But who knows? It, it, you know, it would provide more shade for the pup, so we might leave it. What do you think, Colt? Oh, you like the shade of the sweet gum tree? That sounds like a song. Shade of the sweet gum tree. Right, puppy? Good boy. All right, y'all have a blessed day, and we will talk to you next time. Yeah. Hmm. God bless.